This video is a simplified tutorial on how to search using Nexus Uni uh, to conduct research for notes and articles for the Fordham Undergraduate Law Review. So Nexus Uni is a great database with court cases from multiple jurisdictions, law review articles, news sources, and journal articles. And Fordham students have access to Nexus Uni using the Fordham login through the Fordham library. So I'm on the Nexus Uni homepage right now. And basically we just have the search bar and then a couple of other important pieces of information. So this is just the generic search bar that you can use to search for cases, um, law review articles or just topics and get material uh, based on those topics. And if we scroll down, you can also uh, use this discover topics area to just conduct research using regarding business, criminal justice or political science in general as well. So scrolling back up um, to conduct research using Nexus Uni, you use the search bar and you can also use the advanced search by clicking the little arrow um, on the left hand side of the screen. But first we are going to search um, information about Obamacare and severability. So the reason I use quotation marks is to request that the material that comes up include that exact phrase. And when I use the word and, I want only materials that contain both phrases. So these are our important search terms to limit the material that comes up when you're searching. Instead of just getting articles about Obamacare and articles about severability that are not about both together, using and is really beneficial because it only gives us materials that deal with both terms. Um, the quotation marks are also really helpful because it helps search for entire phrases rather than just a single word. So if I wanted to search for doctrine of severability, if a note or a law review article or anything contains the word severability but doesn't contain the word doctrine of severability, it won't come up in this search term. Um, this is this search is asking for material that contains the word Obamacare and and when that same material contains the phrase doctrine of severability. So again, this helps limit um, your search terms and limit the material that comes up when you search. So we can also use the advanced search bar. Um, and we can ask for law review journals, cases, statutes and legislation. We can ask for briefs and pleadings and motions, administrative material, uh, company and financial material, et cetera. We can look for specific cases and codes. So you can search by case, you can search by appeal circuit, and you can search by state. You can also search based on news articles, practice areas and topics could be really beneficial if you are only looking for something about bankruptcy law or only something looking for family law. Um, we can do date range. So we can search just things that have been published today, things that have been published in the last three months. You can do a custom date range. And again, using the advanced search can really help limit the amount of material that comes up. So it's easier for you to evaluate the material and determine which one um, would be useful for your note. So with that, I'm gonna click search. And you can see at the left-hand side, I have three options. So law reviews and journals, cases and statutes and legislation. So, Looking for each of these, I can just filter it out. So I have 151 law reviews and journals, six cases, and three statutes and legislation. So if I want to go into cases, I can see all of the cases that have 
mentioned Obamacare and severability. So we can just scroll down and look for all of these. Back, going back to law reviews and journals, we can go through the law reviews and journals and evaluate which one would be really useful for our research. So if I wanted to use this article, the severability doctrine, how much of a statute should federal courts invalidate? I can click on the article and the article will come up with the full name and the citation at the beginning. And then we have the introduction. Sometimes there's an abstract at the top and it will just highlight all of the terms that I searched for. So severability and then Obamacare will also be highlighted in here. But going through the law review articles is really beneficial because not only does it have really important information that you can cite in your notes, but you can also use the materials that the law review author um, cites in their law review. So it kind of helps to find more material to look at. So if you scroll all the way down, you can go through all of the footnotes that the author created and look for more material that you should research in for your note. Scrolling back up, um, at the top of every material at, in Nexus Uni, um, we have the full title. And then at the top of law reviews and um, court cases, we also get the citation that we use for the style guide for the Fordham Undergraduate Law Review's Modified Blue Book citations. So when you're writing the citations, you can just really just copy and paste this citation into your document. And this is the correct citation with the volume number and the law review, and then the first page number that the this article appeared on in the law review, in the Texas Review of Law and Politics. So scrolling down, these bolded page num these bolded numbers and brackets are page numbers that the note appears on in the Texas Review. So when you're citing, when you're creating your footnotes, you can go by these page numbers to indicate the page number that you find your material on. So it's always bolded with a little asterisk and the page number um, format is also the same for court cases as well. So this export citation button um, helps us a little bit with citations, but it usually provides more information than necessary for our modified blue book citation guide. Um, so basically with this export citation button, we can search for MLA, blue book, Chicago, and API citations. And it sometimes takes a long time to load, but, um, I recommend just using the citation that they list here and not really using this export citation button too much. So going back, if we want to review cases, we can go back to the Nexus Uni search bar. And there's another really important function on Nexus Uni that's really helpful for citations and also conducting further research. So we're gonna search for Plessy versus Ferguson, which was a Supreme Court case um, that has since been overturned. And when we don't use the advanced search bar, we get all information related to the case that we searched for. And it automatically comes up with news. So we just need to click on cases and we have Plessy versus Ferguson here. So we can click on the case. And so we have the case name and the full citation. So this is the volume number, US indicates the US reports, and 537 is the first page number in the US reports publication that the case appears on. So we can scroll down, and the opinion sometimes starts a little bit further down the page. And we can see the page number bolded with the brackets 
just as we did with the law review articles. And we can scroll through and read the opinion and any concurrences or dissents. So when cases have this little red stop sign, um, Nexus Uni uses indicators to show when negative treatment has been given to a case or when positive treatment has been given to a case. So we have this little reference guide here. So basically these are called shepherd signa signals indicators. So when it has a green plus, that means that positive treatment has been indicated. Um, when it has the red stop sign, that means that warning treat, so it's a warning, negative treatment indicated. So usually um, the case has been overruled. And you have to be careful when you're citing an overruled case because it's not binding precedent. Um, it can still provide important information about the way the law has changed over time. And it can also provide really beneficial background information for cases and arguments, but it can act as binding precedent in further court cases. Um, the orange Q means that the validity of the case has been questioned. Um, this doesn't mean that the case can't act as binding precedent. Um, it's just a warning because that means that uh, some other judge or justice has questioned the validity of the ruling. The yellow caution sign means that possible negative treatment has been indicated. So it might have been criticized by another judge or distinguished by um, another judge. And again, the yellow doesn't mean that the case can't act as binding precedent. It still is a functioning court case and acts as precedent. It has not been overruled as the red stop sign has. Um, but it just kind of indicates, you know, there might have been some negative treatment. So just be aware of that. And then the little A and the I are just pretty much neutral um, warnings. So they're not too much to really anything to worry about. The most important to, one to look at is this warning sign because it most likely means that it was overruled and doesn't act as precedent. So we go back to the case and we see that Plessy versus Ferguson has negative treatment. And if we wanna know what the negative treatment is, um, we can use shepherdizing uh, to figure out how the case has been negatively treated. So on the right-hand side of the screen, um, we see this button, shepherdize this document. So what shepherdizing the document does, and it works for any court case, um, is it provides us with a list of cases that have cited Plessy versus Ferguson or mentioned Plessy versus Ferguson after this court, after the court has decided the case. So we can click on shepherdize the document. And it's a really, really beneficial function because you can scroll through and look for cases that have cited or mentioned Plessy versus Ferguson, which means that those cases might also be relevant to your research. So we can filter it by warning, question, caution, positive and neutral. We can also filter it by the court and we can also fil filter it by states. So if we want to know what overruled Plessy versus Ferguson, we can click the overruled by button and we know it was Brown versus Board of Education. So we can clear that one. And we can search validity questions by overruled as stated in, um, positive treatment that the case has received, um, which I don't believe any of it has been from the Supreme Court. And so we can just conduct further research about this case. Um, this can also be really helpful um, when searching for other cases. So if we're searching for a masterpiece cake shop,
And we go over to cases, Supreme Court of the United States. So we would like um, this case here. So in order to shepherdize this document, we can go over to the right, click shepherdize. And we can filter again based on cases that have uh, subsequently cited this, this case. So if we wanna go into the Supreme Court, we can click Supreme Court. And we can search through other cases that have referred to this case. So this could be really helpful for conducting research because you can find more relevant cases uh, for the topic that you're interested in. So for example, Bostick County. Cited this case. So we can click on the Bostick opinion and it takes us exactly where to they where they cite the case, but we can just scroll up and get all of the information about the Bostick v. Clayton County case. And again, this is really beneficial because now we know that Bostick County might be a really good case for us to look at as well. So that concludes the mini tutorial for Nexus Uni. If you have any questions, um, please contact the Fordham Undergraduate Law Review Editorial Board and good luck researching.